This video is supported in part by Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions. If you enjoy The NeverEnding Story and Masters of the Universe, this new novel coming fall 2022 is right up your alley. Hey there, this is John from Gen X Grown Up, and I've just recently acquired this really cool Mattel Electronics Dungeons & Dragons Computer Labyrinth game from 1980. So I'm going to do a full video kind of looking at the box and the contents and replacing missing parts. I'll put a link to that video right up here if you want to see it. In this video, though, I'm going to do a full playthrough of the game. So if you have it and want to know how to play it, or you wish you had it and want to see somebody play it, I'm just going to do a simple one-player game to show the mechanics of the game. And very little editing here. This is for you to enjoy what I enjoy when I sit down, turn this thing on, and try it out. So again, I'm going to play single player. I'm going to play the basic mode, not the advanced. Uh, and I have all the parts here that I need. I'm going to start by turning it on. We'll switch in the back. Oh, the beautiful 80s electronics noise. Sounds like a Simon or uh, a Merlin or something, right? Uh, so along the side, these are all buttons and you can tap these buttons at any time to hear the different sounds in case you've forgotten what the different sounds mean or sound like. So, uh, and a shift key is up here actually, it's called a switch key. So here's warrior one, and here's warrior two, and then there's a winner, hold down shift. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> and there's a treasure, and then there's a wall, and then there's a door. We won't experience doors in the basic version. That's just kind of an added thing. Uh, dragon attacks. Uh, the dragon wakes. Uh, then dragon flying, which will happen quite often. And then, of course, the defeat sound. Oh. That sounds pretty pretty defeated. <laughs> okay, so we're going to set this up a single player game. So I just need to pick which character I want. I'll pick this little guy with a mace and I pick a home place. It's called a secret room. It's where you start. And I pick the green token that has the mace on it and I put it in that spot. I'm going to just park it kind of like right there. I'm going to say that's my spot. Beep. That's declared my spot. Now I hit next player. That's where the second player would place his secret room. If we're playing one player, we just hit it again. And we're playing. Like, there's no other indication that the game is underway, but it is. So it's my turn. I can move up to eight spaces, but I might hit a wall, which ends my turn prematurely and gives the dragon time to approach. We'll get to the dragon in a second. We don't know where he is. So we'll start by just exploring to kind of find the maze and what it looks like. Beep. Okay. Right away, I hit a wall. That ended that turn, so I can put a wall down, so now I know there's a wall there. Let's resume with my next turn. Good. All right, we now know there's a wall between those two spots, and we can put a wall down there. Continue exploring. Hmm. Okay. I like to kind of find the area around my home, my secret room, before I go exploring and find the dragon because when you're running from the dragon, the last thing you want is to run into a wall and get stopped and get attacked. So, let's see. Up, oh, wall there. All right, let's keep exploring. All right, so that's a corner. Place a wall down here. Got it? Okay, let's keep going. Hmm. Okay. Another wall spot. And we're just exploring and finding where everything is. Yep. I think your secret room will always have at least two uh, pads out, an entrance and an exit. It won't be in a dead end. You know, it has a wall beneath it now. Okay. Yep, kind of could have guessed that. All right, let's keep going. Oh, a wall right there. So this is a corner. Got it. Okay. Let's see, let's check down here. Okay, 
Now, the dragon would wake up if I get within three spaces of him. And since it hasn't happened yet, I can be comfortable that he's not in this lower part of the maze. So now I'm going to start exploring toward the upper area and see if I can wake him up and find him. Mm, a wall there. Okay. All good information. Ooh. Dead in there. Look at that. Okay. And that's a dead end back there, we know. Oh, and a wall there. Great. We know he's up in this area now because we've been as far as here and he's not, it didn't wake him up. So he's kind of out in this region. He's on the perimeter. Yeah, that's a corridor there and you can put a wall up. You can see the maze really kind of taking shape now, which is cool. I'll go down and around. Mm-hmm. Little corridor. Got it. Now imagine if this was two players, at the end of your turn, you hit a wall, the other guy would get a chance to start looking and start looking. So ultimately, we want to find where that dragon is. That'll expose where the treasure is. We can grab it, get it back to our home base here. <gasps> the dragon has awakened. Okay, we now know he is within three spaces of here. So we can deduce one, two, three. He's probably on the outer perimeter. We've been up here, I think, been this far. Uh, so I'm going to guess, I'll just spitball that he's right there. Okay. So I need to be careful about going that far. I'm also going to go ahead because I know he's guarding the treasure. I'll throw the treasure icon down. Maybe that's where he is. We're not positive yet, but it's quite possibly where it is. We'll find out as we explore some more. Now my turn's not over. I just awoken the dragon. At the end of my turn and every subsequent turn, the dragon will move. He'll start chasing. So let's keep going. Okay, so there was a wall and the dragon advanced. So I'm going to guess he moved here. Keep in mind, he can fly over walls. He doesn't care about that limitation. So it might be in my best interest to head down this way before I get attacked. And I know I can go this way because I cleared that out already. So that was my eight moves. The dragon moved. Again, this is just a guess. I don't know for sure he could be anywhere in this little area. I might want to kind of lure him that way. So if I go this way, I think that's a wall. No. Nope. Ah, there's a wall. I'm just trying to expose the rest of the wall in case I'm on the run from the dragon. We heard that noise, meaning he did move. I would like for him to get a little closer to this western edge, so I'm going to continue that. And I know these are all clear. Oh, and I hit a wall here. Okay. Kind of a dead-end box over here. And the dragon has moved toward me. Again, I'm guessing he's pretty close to me. The good news is because I've cleared out all of this maze, I have a direct path to kind of get to this region and get clear of him. So I'm going to do that now. He moved. I'm going to guess again if I'm assuming he's there. This is pretty tight now because he could hit me if I'm not too careful. Let's see. Good. Yep. Wow. Whew. All right, so there's a wall. All right, I'm going to assume the dragon is chasing me in that direction. Okay, pretty good gamble. This could be hairy. Let's see. <gasps> oh! All right, so that noise means I found the treasure. Now I know the treasure was actually over here. And that's also where the dragon was, which would make sense because that is where, um, that is where he was within three of me when I found him. So rather than up here, he was more over in this region. Okay. And the dragon has moved toward me. And since he didn't hit me yet, I can assume that he's probably within about a spot of me. My goal now is to hurry back here before the dragon catches me. Because if he catches me with treasure, game over. All right, so let's continue to run. We ran down here before. 
Ah, so he did attack me earlier. He did hit me, which means my movement range is limited. And the dragon has moved to advance toward me again. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, that was the end of my move. Again, I should have a straight shot to get home with this treasure. There it is! I did it! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Cool. You can see, I explored, I found the path, I exposed and figured out where the dragon was. Still not certain, he's in this vicinity. Um, yeah, and I found where the treasure was. I accomplished it. Hooray me, I have the treasure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this little playthrough of this vintage Mattel D&D computer labyrinth game. If you like vintage toys like this, you're probably already a subscriber to Gen X Grown Up, but you might not have seen this Einstein, kind of a Simon-esque toy I picked up for four bucks at an area thrift shop. Brought it home and was thrilled to find out that it actually worked. Maybe check that video out if you have a chance. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.